Welcome back to Living Legends, The Crystal Tear. We just defeated the evil squirrel! Now let's find out what's up with I that squirrel. I will help you destroy the magic of crystal. But first, the Cinderella story. Lucille the maid, a dreamy, honest, hard-working young lady. I can use her tear. The prince asked the fairy godmother to help him find Cinderella, but she'd seen the magic crystal, so she refused. She thought Cinderella was an evil sorceress, but the prince did not listen. He ordered his men to find his love. When Cinderella learned that the prince was looking for her, she wanted to go to him, but her stepmother saw Cinderella's crystal slipper and locked her in a closet. Use this anti-magic sphere to see Maid Lucille. Oh dear, poor Cinderella, locked in a closet. I will be waiting. And her... her slipper might have been made of this evil crystal? Well, that's not good. Okay, so now let's see Lucille! It's you! I'm sorry I stole your invitation. I was trying to help you. The kingdom was cursed because of me. What do you mean, because of you? I'll tell you everything, but we must hurry before she takes control of my mind. There's a family apron made of magical thread in my room. Please bring it to me. Okay, so we're gonna find this apron and, and help save her. Fantastic. Because I wanna, I wanna know how this is all her fault. But first, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some cheese. Oh yeah, that's some good cheese. Okay, so uh, here's a mouse. We give the cheese to the mouse. And now you want to make matches. So you click on boxes with matching labels. Just like this. This clears away all the boxes, giving you a crystal. Ah, a diamond, I should say. You use the diamond over here by the sink in order to get some needles and a metal rose. And this is the area where we'll be doing some sewing. Okay, so here in Lucille's room, we have that magical butterfly. Those are the mice and the, uh, the morphing object. Let's take a look at her bed. So, we have the code she just gave us. Use the glasses on the code to read it. So it's, um, I guess, a thread, cloth, broom, and then pan. Here, uh, these are instructions for making uh, a, a carriage, so we'll worry about that later. Lucille's Diary. I've always dreamed of becoming a princess. I need to try on the slipper. Oh, Lucille, Lucille, what have you done? Well, let's take a look at this. Okay, so to get inside, you need to click on the rope like this. Just very specific. Just click on the loose end of the rope, wherever it is, to open up the closet. So here's a star, and those are things we'll worry about later. Okay, so over here, we're going to take a look at the dresser. Ah, the star opens up this. It's a, a magic flower, and unless I'm mistaken, we have a handle on the magic flower. Put the handle here to open this, giving us part of the map. Great. Back to here. This is a, a puzzle, so you want to grind up the crystal, you want to water the plant, and you want to use the butterfly on the plant. That's how we make magic powder. And unfortunately, you just need to remember those instructions, because they, they don't show up in your inventory. So you kind of have to remember them for that puzzle later on. Here we have the rose. We put the rose on there. This gives us the second token. We use both tokens down here for a somewhat tricky puzzle. Not too incredibly tricky, but uh, it, it's still decently difficult. What you want to do is move all these tokens from the left side to the right, and all the ones on the right to the left. So the way to do this is by, uh, see this square up here and this place up here? Just move pieces there. Just move pieces there. We're going to move them out of the way and forget about them for a while. So I'm going to rotate everything uh, in a counterclockwise fashion. 
So let's see. So I'm going to start moving these tokens over to the left. So I'll move one token over to the left. And I'll move this token over to the right. And now I'm just going to rotate everything. Rotate everything. Just rotate everything one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Move one of the left tokens to the right. Move one of the right tokens to the left. Now rotate everything. Rotate everything one. You don't have to do it uh, counterclockwise. You could do this clockwise. It doesn't really matter. So, same thing. I'm going to move a left token over to the right now. And a right token over to the left. And here's where it gets more difficult. Because it, you'll notice we're, we're sort of at the end of uh, where the tokens are. So, I'm going to start rotating these tokens over... Move this token over here. Now you can either uh, move a token in like this, or you can move th this token out, and then start moving tokens downwards into that spot that I just opened up. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And, you know, you could have done this on the right hand side and uh, not the left hand side doesn't really matter so let's do it on the right hand side now we're gonna move this token out of its spot and then one left and then just rotate things into the spot that just opened up great so now I've done all that shuffling same thing I did before a uh, piece on the right I'm gonna move it to the left piece on the left moving it to the right and to finish you just need to move the tokens out of uh, those slots Whoa, broken crystal slippers, Lucille. You've been a naughty girl, haven't you? Mm, breaking crystal slippers. Well, crystal, we wanted to grind up the crystal according to those instructions. So that's what we're doing here. So let's see. Um, the Torn family apron. This apron's an heirloom of her family. The threads went through crystal water. She has some wool in the pocket, so we're going to put the wool here. That gives us a thread. We're going to use the thread over here, along with the needle. And this puzzle, you just want to click on all of the X's. It does not matter what you do. You, you don't even need to try to make a picture. You can just do weird stuff like this. And the game says, hey, you were clearly drawing a picture of a carriage. Right? Right? Because that's totally the image I was making. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that patch, we patch up the apron. The apron is fantastic, and we can give it to Lucille. Lucille, so what is your story? How is this all your fault? I always dreamed of being a princess. I tried on the royal slippers, but I slipped and no. they shattered. Oh. I knew that the Crystal Kingdom would never forgive me, so I had to replace them. They slipped off your foot? Oh, Lucille. I know that's why they call them slippers, but that's... No, that's not good. That's not good. I asked my beloved Gerard, the blacksmith, to help me. Only he could make such slippers. The new slippers were just as beautiful as the originals. I wanted to try them on, but I was turned into a squirrel even before the ball began. I couldn't warn anyone, not even Gerard. Only he knows the true origin of the slippers. Find him before midnight. Okay, so the real slippers were swapped with fake slippers, causing all sorts of problems. Okay, so here in the center we have a trap. You could have picked that earlier. You want to use it over here on the right. Let me see. I believe I have to pick up the, the bucket and the faucets first. Then you use the trap on the right with the cheese to get three mice. And we also have, uh, what is that, a lens. Hmm, okay. Well, use the faucets over here. You want to use the bowl with crystal. That's on the left, and the bucket is on the right. Now you might remember we need to water the flowers with uh, this magic water. So the magic water. Remember, we, we had the crystal ground up in there. Well, hey, hey, hey. Now it's magic water, which grows the plants. We use the magic butterfly here. 
and that's how you get the anti-magic powder. As I said, it's kind of a little tricky. I wish the instructions were somewhere on screen because, well, it's been a while since we saw the instructions here on this uh, this platform. At least, at least like three minutes. So, yeah, you know, having to remember all that stuff for so long might be difficult for some people. Okay, so here in the middle we have the hot water to melt the ice. Ooh, and this is also kind of a, a tricky puzzle. So we want to make a map. You want to complete the route. So for example, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this stuff in the middle here. So you can see those roads kind of match, but they kind of don't match here. So I'm going to destroy uh, those columns. And then again, the roads don't really match. So I'm going to destroy those rows. And that gives us this map. It's not a perfect map. You'll notice this mountain doesn't touch the mountains below. But whatever, whatever, whatever. It, it's still good enough. It's good enough. And this is an excellent place for us to get an achievement for finding lots of hidden items quickly. Because we need to find all these belts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, does this not count for an achievement? Oh, I thought it did. Well, we have all the feathers and the ropes. You want to cut the ropes. And here is a simple jigsaw puzzle. You put the feathers into place, and you put all of the various bridles and ropes into place. As you can see, they fit perfectly into the outlines, so it's not too difficult to figure out which piece goes where. This gives us a bridle. So. Here we're going to put these instructions, and again, just a minor thing, I wish we could zoom in on these instructions, get a better look at them, so you can really understand what's happening. What you want to do is get a pumpkin, so uh, click through all the bad pumpkins to find the right one, then you dump the mice, you put the bridle on the mice, and you use the magic powder. And now we have a carriage. Use the map on the carriage and go off. So here's the village where Gerard works. Uh, specifically, he's on the other side of the bridge. So we're going to have to fix up the stuff on the bridge first. Here are the two mice and the morphing object. 